Next thing I got to do today is get this uh, forklift loaded up on my trailer and get it out of here. It doesn't work. Um, I think it's the batteries, but I have no use for it and I don't feel like messing with it. And it's really not worth all that much. So I'm going to try to sell it to someone who wants to fix it. And if no one wants to buy it, then it's going to the scrapyard. But uh, loading it up might be a bit tricky with it not working. Um, but we'll see what we can figure out. There's some pretty bad wind noise in the background for my fan. So I'm going to voice over some of the comments I was making while doing the work. Right now I'm taking the batteries out just to make it a little lighter. So I got my winch on my trailer. It's a 5,000 pound Harbor Freight winch. And I got this 2x10 set up as a center ramp with blocking underneath it to support the mid-span. I'm hoping I'll just be able to find a good spot to connect the winch to the forklift. And then if it's easy, I'll winch it right up. Uh, but if it's hard, it might turn into a fight. So we'll see how it goes. Alright, I've got an axle strap around a pretty thick piece of steel plate and I've got that hooked to the winch. So it's real low and real close to the steering pivot. So we'll see if that works. Line's getting bunched up on one side from the angle of that pull, so I'm gonna let the tension off and just adjust that real quick. The lip on the 2x10 is too tall for the wheel to get over, so I'm going to have to make it a little more gradual. This lift is so heavy I can't actually push it forward, so I've got a ratchet strap around the base of the 100 ton interpack press and I'll just pull it forward. It doesn't have to come forward that much, so this should work. I got this steel plate down where I want that uh, wheel to be to help distribute the load a little bit. I think the machine only weighs, say only, but um, under 3,000 pounds, so I'm hoping it's all right. We're hitting that two by under the wheel right now, so I had to hammer them out. And then I'm gonna go ahead and just take them all off so they don't cause more problems later.
if this thing rolls backwards down the trailer, I'm just going to run and uh, hope I can still drive my truck after. It weighs a lot more than I do. To keep this from rolling backwards on me, I decided instead of just hoping for the best, I threw a strap around it. I've got the other end around the enter pack press, which not only is it heavy as hell, but it's also got uh, wedge anchors in the concrete floor, so that's good. All I want to show here is that basically I'm pulling it back, and then I'm coming up here, putting a little more slack in this, we'll call it a safety line, and then I'm pulling it back some more and just repeating, because I don't have a come along or anything that I can, you know, lower this backwards with. for a minute and think about the best way to do this all right this is what I've come up with that's a chain around the strap that I have hooked to the base of the press at the end of the chain I've got a snatch block I've got the winch coming up from the back of my truck or the front of the trailer through the snatch block and then hooking to the front of the forklift so now, in on the forklift will pull it towards the end of my trailer. And, or, in on the winch will pull the forklift towards the end of my trailer, and out on the winch will let it roll backwards gently and delicately. Uh, I hope. So let's, just, let's see if we can finish this. I should note that I still have the, the safety strap on there, just in case, because this is... I really don't want this to run away from me, so... got it that wheels on the plate and it's pretty much lined up with the screws um, or the self tappers whatever they are um, on that cross beam the feet or whatever you want to call them legs uh, they're right in between them but I think the way I'm thinking about this is most of the weight is uh, on the main wheel so I think this will be just fine. I'm going to strap it down and before I take off the safety straps and the winch, obviously, so it doesn't go rolling backwards. And then uh, those forks are heavy, so that might have been stupid taking them off. I don't know. I'm probably just going to put them on the trailer right here and strap them down because I don't know that I want to lift them into the back of my truck. Anyway, that's next.
All right, the GoPro doesn't do it justice, but it's steep here and uh, made it up to the top. Some wheels slip in. I might have dropped the trailer axles down in that culvert a little bit, but um, didn't tip. And I just uh, put the hammer down and we kept going and got out. So I'm relieved to be at the top of the hill.